Update now on a case of animal abuse and neglect at a property in Westport. We've learned 22 people are being investigated and the owner could face felony charges. Things got pretty heated at the Board of Health meeting last night between the board and farmers who shared that land. They say they've had nothing to do with the awful conditions, but now they're being punished. Some residents were calling for some board members to resign. Eyewitness News reporter Julian Pixoto is live in the control room now with the details. Good morning. Well, Westport police say they've been working at the property 24-7 since the animals were discovered nearly a week ago. Now all 21 people who rented lots and the property owner could face felony charges. At this point, police say there are more than 900 animals still on the property. About 180 have already been removed. Detectives, veterinarians, and volunteers are there 24 hours a day feeding and nursing the dozens of sick and injured animals. Though police say they're in need of veterinarians with training in treating large animals. Police say there are about 14 different species still at the farm, including some horses, lots of cows, goats, and small animals and birds. Eyewitness News asked police what many of our viewers have been wondering. How could things have gotten so out of hand? It's not a matter of not realizing it, it's private property. So unless the police department have consent to go down there from one of these people renting or the property owner, or we need a search warrant, as soon as they became aware of it, we were on top of it. If they did their jobs correctly, the ones who were doing bad wouldn't be there. This has been going on for six years. I've only been there for three. If I knew the history of it, to be honest, it's already been tainted, I wouldn't have been there. My family would have not stepped foot into that property. That's Tammy Viveros. She and her family have raised about 40 animals on the property. She says she kept her farm correctly, others did not, and now she's being blamed for their actions. Coming up around 6.30, hear from more farmers like Tammy who are claiming their innocence. Live in the control room, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.